I'm not going to talk for very long. I'm going to get right to the video. I have some really good video here. The most common comment I receive is, where is the fish after it leaves my A-scope? How do I catch that fish? Where exactly is it? In this video, I'm going to tell you everything I know about that and how to find that fish. We have more technology than ever before. And the only time you truly know where that fish is, is when it's in the A-scope. After that, it's just in the history, and that's a moment in time. It's not a moment in distance. But our technology is fantastic these days, and in this video, I'll show you exactly how to keep an eye on those fish and how to track them as best you can. Thanks for watching, guys. Let's get to it right now. Please subscribe if you haven't, and give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out, guys. Love you. Mean it. So the most common question I get about a fish finder is... After you pass over a fish, they want to know where that fish is. And it's kind of hard to describe. You got to keep in mind that after you mark a fish, anything that's in the history is just a picture of what you passed over. The scroll speed has nothing to do with where those fish are. Imagine if all the fish are on the screen, you take a screenshot, and now that screenshot just moves over to the left and out of your way. That's what your history is. It has nothing to do with where the fish are. It's just a moment in time. So everything that's in the the a scope here is directly under the boat now once it's past that a scope this is just a history it's just a picture of what happened to determine where these fish are after you've passed over them all the simrads are like this and i believe most of the late model lorances are the same you just touch on any mark here and it tells you where that mark was so you can see it, the number is 175 and it's growing as we're leaving it so the short answer is if you want to know where that fish is or where that mark was just touch it tells you where it was that's the best way now the fish obviously could have swam away and I'm sure it did but for those of you asking you know after the fish passes under the boat where the heck is it well our transducer is looking down it was under the boat it was the depth it says when it passes through the a scope after we leave it the fish could swim completely different in a different spot different speed could be gone we could scare it away who knows but for a good guesstimation just touch it on the screen Look down here in the bottom left, 312 foot, and it gives you an idea of how far away from you are. If you want to put a waypoint on that, just go ahead and do your check. Waypoint. And now we go to our chart. You're going to go ahead and see that waypoint right there.